It's beer and food o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. You asked, I delivered. I went to Lidl recently and I bought the 25 pound box, 10 box of beers for 25 pound German best beer box that was available about 10 days ago in Lidl. I understand they're restocking it. I also picked up some food. Picked up some beer worst and some Emmental filled cheese sausages, which were amazing. But a number of you commented saying, hey, you didn't pick up the pretzels. So I went back. I went back because a lot of you in that video of the unboxing of the beers and the food were saying, you need to get the bake at home pretzels. They are fantastic. Now, I've eaten pretzels, albeit not fresh ones, fresh German ones. And I thought to myself, okay, there's an awful lot of you people asking for this. Let's go and get some. So we got the air fryer. One of the beers is a Snyder Weiss Fest Weiss Weiss beer. And that's coming in at 6.2% ABV. Really excited for that one. So ready to bake pretzel Alpenfest style. I've got the air fryer out. We've turned the lights on without further ado how long i haven't even had a look i'll be very quick with this so the english is not going to be uh oven cook oven cook for 10 minutes 220 or gas mac gas mac 7 we're going to be air frying them we are going to try these in the air fryer why not Can't even open them. Right. Oh, look at this. The proper pretzel. Air fryer. Bang. Get them on the tray. Close the door. Now I reckon. We'll turn the temperature down on this. I reckon 160 degrees. We'll try 16 minutes. I mean, I can always adjust it. If they're burning after five minutes or seven minutes, I'll come back. I'll keep a constant eye on these. When they're kind of more or less nearly finished, we'll come back, open this Festweiss from Schneiderweiss. Schneiderweiss are a fantastic brewery in Germany. They really are. They specialise in vice beer. Um, they do a tap series, um, tap one, which you can pick up in Sainsbury's, by the way. Tap one, available in Sainsbury's, all the way up, tap two, tap three, all the way up to tap ten. Now, if you have the opportunity, my favourite was always tap eight. I always found it was like a double vice beer. Fantastic, incredible beer. But if you can go all the way, if you can get tap ten, that's in a big 750ml bottle and that they swap the hops out so they make different kind of versions of a 750ml Schneiderweiss Tap 10. It's absolutely fantastic if you can find it. Right, I'm going to go and put these pretzels. Oh, hang on a minute, there's something in the... That looks like some kind of chemical. That doesn't look like, I was thinking, oh, they give me some salt, look. They give me some, is it, is it salt? It is, it says salt. I'll leave the salt in there, only just in case it's just, you know, one of those kind of like, you know when you buy a pair of shoes and you get that little kind of weird pack in there, make sure the shoes don't go mouldy. Yeah, we better check that. Um, anyway, I'll be back then when these pretzels are cooked. Right, these pretzels are almost ready. Put the light on there for you. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is get this Schneider Ice Best Vice Vice beer out into a glass and see what we get. 
There's the bottle cap. So, while I'm pouring the beer, it struck me that I built this bar a couple of years ago now, and I always wanted an area. I went to um, my good friend in Poland, uh, Tomek Kapira. Some of you have probably heard of Tomek Kapira. Um, his beer reviews in Polish, he can sometimes hit a million views a month. It's like insane. But he's got his own studio where he's got his own tripod set up and everything's just there for him to just, it makes his life easier to work. And I always wanted that little space. And I've kind of been working on this outside area here for a number of years now. And it struck me this morning that I've more or less got the same space. Not a massive studio like he has, but I got an area where my tripod lives. It stays up all of the time. I've got areas where I can have, oh, hang on. Yeah, we better turn those off. I've got areas where I can set up a little grill or an air fryer or what else do we set up? Generally air fryers. Or what did we set up the other day? Uh, an induction hob thing and cooking. I can't even remember what we were cooking now. Oh, the schnitzel, the pork schnitzel. Um, but look at, look, look at this. I've, I've ended up with this little area. I'm quite proud of it. I'm quite proud of it. Where I can kind of cook fresh, chuck them all over the floor. Um, It's a tiny little space this, it's literally, I'm touching the wall there, I can more or less touch the wall over there. It, it, it's not the biggest space in the world, but it kind of works for me. It's, it's all nice and cramped up and yeah, it just works. Anyway, um, it's enough for me be, to be able to cook some pretzels. Oh, that, um, I think it was salt. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to use some Tesco salt only because um, that other salt was in a slightly different language and it scared me a little bit. I didn't know quite what it was. So let's salt these, lightly salt these pretzels then with, with some Tesco salt. At least I know what I'm eating there. <laughs> um, so importantly with the vice beard of course swirl that last inch of beer around throw it throw it into the glass now, I, I'm, I'm absolutely blown away that you can pick up now what did I say earlier 6.2 percent ABV vice beer for two pound fifty a bottle in Lidl that is just I don't know, from Snyder Vice as well that is just incredible absolutely incredible so beer in the glass we've got a two to three finger white head good levels of carbonation uh, the beer has been cooled down in my fridge of course it's a hazy number this one but it's slightly darker now I'm gonna say it's slightly darker because I think that's what and please correct me if I'm wrong correct me if I'm wrong I think th this whole kind of Oktoberfest fest beer September, October time of the year is when the Germans they get to use slightly darker malts. We see lots of Maz and beers. And for me, as a guess, it's a complete guess, I don't know. I think they've used a slightly darker malt here, Snyder Weiss, to pr produce this Fest Weizen. It is definitely darker than a regular Weiss beer. So let's get the aroma then. Smells terrific. Absolutely terrific. Hmm. Banana, peppery, spicy, but this time with a bit of darker malt coming through, a little bit more kind of a biscuit malt. Spicy, peppery, stinging nettle like. Should we dive in? Cheers, everybody.
that is fantastic beer absolutely fantastic a little bit of bready malt coming through that little bit, bit of banana clove spice typical vice beer lovely kind of slightly creamy mouthfeel wonderful wonderful beer a little bit of sweetness over there little 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 bit of bitterness over there i would say vice beers are generally a little bit bit more kind of sweeter than say your regular german pilsner or your regular german Perez Lager, yeah, the, 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 these beers, these vice beers are just leaning a little bit into the sweeter territory. The yeast is giving off that kind of banana flavour in the beer. I've never eaten, I've eaten the little tiny pretzels you buy in Tesco, but I've never eaten, I've seen them. I've seen them, I, I actually seen them in Alton Towers, they were trying to sell one pretzel for five pounds. And I was like, nah, that's just a little bit of bread. I'm not doing that. So I didn't. In Alton Towers, I was like, nah, I'm not having it. I'm not. Or Thought Pack. They did. Every year, Thought Pack do like a festival vice type thing. Festival German thing. So I thought, you know, when, when you see these in Lidl for the best part of £2.50 for 10 of the damn things, bake them at home. Yeah, I mean, what do they look like then? Let's break one open. So it just looks like some kind of weird bread. Yeah, perfect. A little bit of salt on there that I've added myself. This is fantastic. Again, one of those German foods that perfectly Perfectly complements beer. It's just some slightly warm bread. Look at it. I mean, I've managed to do something. I've managed to cook. Proper kind of doughy, not doughy, but light pretzel. Brilliant. Slightly toasted bread that soaks up your beer. Slightly salty, so you drink some more beer. The Germans know what they're doing. They definitely know what they're doing. Mmm. How delicious. That German pretzel is the equivalent of the British peanut that sits on the bar or sits behind the bar. The scampi fry that sits behind the bar, tempting you always to buy it after you've had a few pints. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. The salt's made its way onto the plate, so let's go grab some of that salt. Really good. Really, really blooming good. And I think it's a unique selling point for Lidl. The fact that you can buy those Emmental stuffed sausages and German bake at home pretzels and the fact that you can do all of these things in the UK. I might as well be in Germany. I might as well be in Germany. I'm drinking a German beer. I'm eating fresh German pretzels. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Everything's in German, apart from the ABV. I've got no un understanding of anything uh, here other than the hops, malt, yeast, and water. The 
this is tap number four, the best high spice beer. Um, I'm going to rate this now. I, I probably this review had been slightly. I don't know. It didn't feel like my best review for some reason. It feels like it's a bit wishy washy. It feels like. I've not really kind of understood the detail of the beer. I've not explained the detail of the beer and I've not really explained the detail of the pretzel. It's a part break baked pretzel that you finish off at home. Totally understand that. Fantastic. I don't feel like I've given the beer as much kind of attention or, or justice that I probably should have done. But at the same time, I don't want to waste any more of your time so I'm going to finish the review but what I'm going to say is if you know vice beer this is a vice beer with slightly darker malt so you're getting a little bit more of a malty kind of texture and flavour from the beer but at the same time it's still a vice beer. That will probably make sense to an awful lot of you if you're new to beer Please go out and try some Vice Beer. You can pick up Vice Beer in Lidl, Aldi, Morrison's, Tesco, Asda. Try some Vice Beer, get used to Vice Beer, enjoy Vice Beer, and then start to drink some of the kind of slightly off centre Vice Beers, like this one, this Fest Vice, slightly darker malt. It's a fantastic beer, it really is. I like it enough to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. As for the pretzels, yeah, I like them. I understand them. They soak up some beer. That bread is just like, it's soaking up all the beer, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I, I like the pretzels enough to give them a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Maybe, I don't know, dip them in mustard or something. Dip them in some jam or whatever you want to do with them. Um, thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.